So what happens when the love of your life is a forbidden fruit? What do you do? Do you choose family? Do you choose love over your happiness? What do you do? So as you can already see, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be reviewing Mubango. I've given you the other half of the story. Now I'm just going to conclude as to what happened next. Sanbonani Molweni Awishini Ndimadekwa Naminjani. Hipukile Hingongwina. So this is a gathering wherein I think they wanted to reprimand Rendani to say, you cannot be dating Hulisani under no circumstance. So... Um, I'm uh, uh, Agnes. So Randani then came up and say she loves um Hulisani and they are already married and she is not planning to change her thoughts. Marajanda jufune sending amramusi kotia one. You know when you have a father that will stand by you no matter what. Her father stood by her regardless or family economy. And then mwana mwa asara achiko dhibu diso ure. Na kani aba mutu wako shume la shina. Because he was supposed to be the one to say no, my child you cannot do that. But he is a father. We need fathers like him. Moving right along. Bafui is very disappointed. Loko bafika ka tatani lava. Baku makuru tatani lava. Aba ashinge ene shama kaya ku teka tenda ba mugumesa shitule ni shayen. Bachinche tingondo. Ima kaya mtanun. Mtanun uba jurekuru no. We need peace in the land. So that is what he did. He changed his mind. Now Bafui feels like he's being betrayed. Bafui feels like this guy is being paid more than what he was promised. For him to change his mind and start siding with Dende. He actually feels like he is siding with Dende. Instead, this guy is just trying to be a proper person and do the right thing. This moving right along. So Bumakati had a conversation with Rendani and she was asking her if she really understand what she's putting herself into and who she's marrying and why she's doing it. And Rendani just clearly told her that she loves Hudisani and it's not about the family, it's about her happiness, it's about the love that she has for the guy. Now, Oshika Bosuzen, Bosuzen was asking... Uh, no, in fact, Rendani was the one telling Bosuzen, or you know what, I love... Hulisani and by the time when I fell in love with him it had nothing to do with his brother nor his father I did not even know his brother nor his father it was just about purely love that I have for the guy so Bosuzeni spoke like a mother you know arali uri na inwi nimme mu baby mwo mutu aya ashika wa mutani wanu ashika afuna na mutu obula yongwana wanu obviously you are just poking the wound. So I I do understand where Susan is coming from that she is not settled about this matter. She feels like Rendan is li- deliberately doing this. After <laughs> I think Bafui went too far. Bafui just needs to calm down. He's so he is so hurt. He is so angry. <laughs> this week corner we are telling you. So here he came to visit uh, Mpo to um, confront her to find out why is she now uh, taking the side of the enemy while before we had a plan. So Mpo was like, he, he, she really told him where to get off, that she's a woman of her own. She has dreams. She's ambitious. She wants to fulfill that. And she does not need anyone to be coming and judging her and wanting her to be fulfilling Bafui's filthy plans. She wants support. She wants to be loved. She wants to be protected. That's all she's asked. That's not enough. That's not too much, isn't it? Fellow South African, thank you for watching. Please comment, share, and rate me.